is the Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, but we are here for tonight's night of racing. I gotta tell you, I'm pumped up. I'm excited. It's been a while since I've been in the car, uh, in a race at least. Last night I did do some practice, but coming off that 24, I did take a little break. So I am pretty excited to get back into racing and in that whole competitive spirit of being side by side with some of my best friends in racing and just getting down to business and seeing what we can do at a very tough car and track combination we are here at brands hatch in the mclaren f1 gtr in a seto corsa running in sim racing systems which is a league or matchmaking system and this is the first night of the of the week tomorrow night we will race as well and drivers will be able to pick their top finish of them two nights and those are the points they'll use moving forward in the series so we are in the fourth of six weeks and then at the end of this week we will be switching over to a new season of we're calling them the well not we but the dtm cars we're gonna be running three different car makes but that's still a ways away from us tonight we're here talking about the mclarens talking about brands hatch and i'm gonna bring up the track facts here compliments of steam king who's gotten the nickname around here of stat king but he's the one who has been uh always letting us know during the streams what the facts of the track are well they, he actually built this and put this together for us to all view but it gives you a little facts and information about the track that we're going to be doing tonight uh i can tell you brands hatch is tough it is one of those tracks that is very easy to go off track if you even start to think about going off track it's too late you are off track and it's really hard to get back on the track so tonight is going to be really about composure as much as anything else. There he is. Steam King takes a bow. Well done. Max is even cheering for you, Steam. So tonight's race should be fun. It should be pretty uh, exciting. I'm going to do something a little different. Now, my practice schedule had me with about one hour of practice. That's all I've really been able to put in in preparation for this race. So what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to... And, well... I'm giving you two sides of the story. Because of that, I don't think I'm going to have the pace that I really want. On the other hand, today I'm going to do something a little different. I am going to actually take the fuel out of the car to get every advantage in qualifying. And the reason for that is I am very, very, very concerned about turn two at the start of the race. So turn two is very hard to slow the car down enough for. It's very hard to get the car to turn. And I think drivers are going to have a hard time getting that done, especially on the opening lap. So I'm hoping the farther forward I can get, the fewer cars I'll have to deal with dealing with turn two. And I think it's going to be very hard from the back to even get through what I am predicting to be quite a pileup. Uh, if I were a spectator, that's what I'd have my eyes on, on at the race. So let's go ahead and get ready for qualifying. I took the fuel out. Now we're just waiting on the track to cycle over for qualifying. Despite doing some of my practice, doing some heel toe, and I even adjusted these pedals to work for some heel toe, uh, tonight I am doing paddle shifters, just so you all know. Hello, Ricardo. Hello, everybody out there. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, it should be a very exciting race. I'm hoping I can just even keep it on the track tonight, to be honest with you. Um, during qualifying, you guys will have one last chance to tell me how the view and uh, sound and all that is on. I'm gonna move the chat off my screen so that I cannot see it, and I'm gonna get out there for qualifying. I should have taken just a little more fuel. We'll see how many laps this lets me go. Getting a little bit of glitchy graphics. 
my system with that third camera is now maxed out. Ooh, didn't blip the downshift. to make one lap. I really blew that. Yeah, my graphics are way glitchier than last night. Something's going on. I'm not sure if it's the server, my system. That's not going to help tonight's racing effort. take that oh no oh god I hate that oh my god the switch over on these pedals has been amazingly easy I mean just like instant like oh okay these work great it won't let me join this way I don't think maybe I get lucky Oh, that's aggravating. I hate that. I can't believe that's an option in the set of course. I said that just yesterday, I think. I mean, am I stupid? It says exit, not return to pit. Read the screen. Okay, we made it back in. Your All skin right. is okay. So, Cy Yip with a 124.4. Chris Severt with a 124.9. Jonathan White with a 125.0. David Grunnell, 125.3. William Noel, 126.0. Ricardo Mascarena, 126.1. Eduardo Kisselvich, 126.6. We have some new names here today. Look at that. Uh, myself in eighth place with a 126.6. I wouldn't have guessed that that would be... I thought that would be a little higher up than eighth place, by the way. John Hill, 126.9. 
Andre Toniolo, 127-1. Uh, so not a bad effort by me. Yes, a personal best. Very, very cool. Yeah, John Hill, thank you very much for that. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd blown. I mean, there is a back way in, but then you have to remember what you have to type in to find it. And there is another way to enter if you ever mess up, but, oh, it's like it puts you on the, the pressure. It was, uh, luckily, still in time for it to be easy enough to just hit the join. I got a little lucky there. 2.2 seconds off of Cy yet. 2.2 seconds on a 90, on a 86 second lap these are wave italy impetus pedals load cell brake heavy duty load cell brake super duper heavy completely adjustable in terms of throw uh start point finish point so like i actually was able to set the gas when i wanted heel toe they are flush so right here you can see me pressing the brake and not hitting the the gas uh, when I first got them, they were more like the clutch and gas where they just were like the same uh, height. And so I wanted to be able to press a little brake before I hit the, the gas for heel toe. Yeah, how'd it go, James? Oh, you got humiliated. You started with that. Mitchie's pretty darn fast, huh? <clears throat> Jody, I'm on an i5 with a 1080 video card. Um, and plenty of RAM, uh, water cooling on the, the chip set. Um, I don't know, but I'm not, I'm, I'm fine with these pedal faces. You can put anything. This looks pretty standard as far, I'd have to double check. It is a different height, and I'll check that for the review between those holes and those. I don't know. I don't know. I'll look at that, Stu. Thank you, Stan. Stan, always taking care of uh, rallying the troops. Thank you very much. Oh, Marcelo. Tell Fernando thank you. All right, 56 seconds left in qualifying. I need to go ahead and reload my race set to make sure we have enough fuel. Load, fuel, 41. Is that enough? 41 seems a little light to me. Um, I'm not going to worry about a couple of liters. I'm going to go to 44, which is probably just a little heavy. Thank you, Andre. Thank you. I'm hoping for a decent turnout tonight. Qualifying so far and ninth, clinging on, just trying to stay on that top 10 there. Look at this group tonight, guys. This is fantastic. I didn't even hear him. Hey, buddy. <whistles> Max, come here. Come here. What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Are you excited for the race? Thank you, Shabbat. 34 liters? Tom, are you serious? Serious. Are you joking and I'm going to run out? Alright, I'll go back to 41. I don't want to run out of gas. You playing my crew chief? You want to make the call? <laughs> I'm, all, I'm, will, I'm willing to take a chance. Yeah, Steam, he does. He's a, he's a ham. <laughs> I'm going to get a sip of coffee while I still have a moment. Qualifying is wrapped up. Just waiting on it to, to cycle. Ronan, that's exactly how I feel. Um, I'm just going to use Cy. He, I put it back to 41. That's the way Cy had it. I'm pretty happy with the car.
<laughs> Stu. I'm glad I don't have to. Yeah, he just, he'll get impatient and lay down. Nope, I'm going with Psy. Sorry, Tom. All right, remember the other day I was telling you how this is the moment, last chance, just relax. There's no hurry. If you were sitting here waiting for the start of the race, look, they got the door open, waiting for me. Now we're just going to casually get in the car. Right in the middle of the pack. Not exactly where I want to be, but... Let's just kind of take... I'm glad we're to the right side, so turn two, we can stay to the inside. That's my big number one goal. Here we go. Doug!
No! Damn, damn, damn! Graphics are really glitchy. That's a bomb or err. Come on, they gotta get it. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go.
threw it in too hard. Come on. Alright James, give us the joke. <laughs>
Okay, don't be. Salvaging, not racing. Racing's a lot better than the best day of working. <laughs> nice to be back in the car again. Uh, I guess for me, what can I take away from that race? Stupid mistake led to that problem. All my fault, getting way too hot on the gas on the inside. Um, oh, Hamish, thank you. I thought I was hitting that curbing just a little too strong and it was kicking me out. Um only thing I can really take away from that is that I managed to make a pretty severe mistake and not completely beat myself up and get super duper mad. I did my best to just get back on track, didn't get in anybody's way, took my took my licks, went to the end of the field. I could have tried to turn around and got in everybody's way, caused a big ac accident. I didn't want a big part of that. Um, so... For me, it was just a matter of, uh, oh, too bad. Oh. So, so yeah, it, 
uh, that, that was where the victory was for me in terms of just uh, doing the keeping calm, getting back to work. And even though we didn't get a great result, we, we did finish and instead of just, you know, bowing out, which is nice. Stayed on the lead lap, which is a miracle, I suppose. Um, hi, friends. Hello, everybody. Thank you for being here. Um, yeah, it's really weird, Kevin. This car, this track just really almost forces you off of it the whole time you're driving. And my left arm actually hurts from, like, constantly turning that way like that. Um, I think that's a, a good description there, Tom. <laughs> um, yeah, you like the DTM spatial? Cool. I think we're all looking forward to that. And yeah, it was a good fun. I had fun. You know, that's the bottom line. I had fun. Uh, it was definitely uh, a, a good run at times. Uh, turn seven, going too early. I, you know. Don't be, I actually have a tendency to be a little early on Apex, it, 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 one of my faults, one of my faults in racing. I'll look at the replay and see if I can uh, improve that for tomorrow night. Um, <laughs> yeah, Lalzor might not have been the most exciting of races. Uh, Brands Hatch is a tough track sometimes. Sometimes it goes your way here, sometimes it doesn't. Um, thank you, Alexander. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, that was that was the victory for me this evening um just not getting angry uh, and i had a few other moments too that big one wasn't the only one unfortunately so uh race save um so yeah that was that was definitely good for me to make a few mistakes and just keep <clears throat> keep the head down and i think within i and i told you guys how 2018 i did have some goals I do have some things I'm trying to accomplish, and I don't expect a better result at every race, but I do expect certain improvements even on bad days. So that's the improvement on a bad day. We had a bad day, but the improvement was we, we conquered, or at least improved, not conquered, uh, some of the mental aspects, which for me is another one of my faults in racing. And, you know, I present this channel partially as a review site. I, I present this channel partially as a watch me drive site like so many other YouTubers, but I like to think that when we're doing these type of episodes that there's always something to benefit from it, even beyond just the racing entertainment itself, but how can we improve, get better, um, and, 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 you know, be better sim racers across the board. That's one of my big goals this year, and uh, hopefully you're learning along with me. So, Anyway, we will be back tomorrow night with race two. <coughs> Someone saw in the chat, Redemption Fridays it's become for me, especially in the McLaren. So I think you know where I stand on this car as well. I'm looking forward to the DTMs. But uh, a good night. Had fun. Nonetheless, it was great hanging out with you guys. So we'll be back tomorrow, 6 p.m. for race number two of race week four in the Sim Racing Systems McLaren F1 GTR system. Uh, GTR uh, series and I will be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. with the pit stop and tomorrow's news. Other than that, we got a lot of things going on behind the scenes. Probably have a couple videos come out over the weekend this weekend that should keep you entertained seven days a week this week. So, hope you enjoyed the stream. We'll be back tomorrow. Thank you for being here. This is The Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole and I'll see you on the track.